Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. Let's take a nice big deep breath. And let's ground. From the base of your spine down to the center of the earth, we're going to create a grounding cord. It's very strong and fortifying and nurturing. Let's take the roots of that grounding cord and really anchor ourselves to Mother Earth to ourselves, to our essence, to who we are. And let's start to release everything that no longer serves you. Letting go of the past, take a nice big deep breath. Letting go of the future. Take a nice, big, deep breath. And let's say hello to the here and now. Present time. Living in this moment. Getting quiet. And now let's create a circle of light all around you. And in that circle of light is a circle of yellow roses. And those yellow roses represent your true sunshine spirit, allowing your personality self and your higher self to work hand in hand. circle of pink roses around you that represent love and compassion for yourself as well as the outside world. And a circle of red divine roses that represent protection from anything that is not of your own energy in your own light. circle of light, circle of yellow, pink, and red roses all surrounding you, your energy, your light, your essence. Take a nice big deep breath and let's come up to your sixth chakra right between the brow and about two feet out you're going to create your movie screen. And on your movie screen, you're going to put your life today. And we're going to go on a journey today about listening. Listening to that part of you, that quieter voice. That stillness. that moment that allows you to quiet in and listen. So as we go on our journey today, I'd like you to envision that you're opening up your door and you're walking out your front part of your house. And in doing so, you see on the horizon this beautiful sandy beach. 
And there's a little hill with some grass growing up from it. And as you go over this little bump of the hill, you see the whole entire ocean right in front of you. And as you see the whole entire vast ocean in front of you, you notice there's not anybody on the beach. It's early in the morning and it's just you and the waves. You take a deep breath and you breathe in that ocean air. And with each breath, as you walk closer and closer to the ocean waves, you start to breathe in the newness of life, the clearing of all your energies. And you start to feel the sense of thank, thankfulness and gratitude for this day or this moment. And you look to the left, you look to the right, and you realize that in this moment, it's just you, the ocean, and the divine. You can call on your spirit guides and your angels. Do you find the perfect spot and you sit down? And as you sit on the beautiful vastness of the sand, still a little dewy, You open up to listening to that voice, that beautiful stillness. And you ask, what do I need to learn in this moment? What do I need to learn? What do I need to know? How can I move in the world in a way that will bring me more joy, more love, more life? As I sit on this vastness of the sand, I feel the ocean breeze. I feel life move through me. Breathing in. Breathing out. I'd like you to ask your higher self for direction, for help, for support, for resources, whatever you need in order to move forward.
Breathing in, breathing out, opening up to more clear answers, clear direction. And even if you're not sure what you need or what to ask for, just open up and allow that part of you, that deeper part of you, to be acknowledged, to be recognized. So we quiet the mind. So we quiet our bodies. We can hear. We are listening. either out loud or in your mind, I am joyful, I am light, I am powerful, I am open, I am soulful, I am listening. Take a nice, big, deep breath. And put your hand on your heart. And just say thank you for either answers that have come to you now or you know will later. Knowing that you're gonna get clear direction knowing that you'll get still and quiet when you need to center in. And let's just say thank you for this time. Breathing in the ocean air, you get up and you acknowledge Mother Earth. You acknowledge yourself acknowledge your angels and the divine in you in all of the universe and you start to move back through the sand and over the little hill and back into your reading screen back into yourself And as you come into your sixth chakra again, you send yourself a lot of love. And move into that heart space and send love to anybody who may need it. As you bring down this beautiful golden sun of light coming down through the heavens, down through that crown chakra back into your sixth, igniting your sense of knowingness, moving back down into your fifth, igniting your more authentic self as it moves into your heart space, filling you up with love, support, and nurturing. Down through your third, creating that power, the ability to manifest out in the world as it moves down through your second, your ability to create ideas, opportunities, resolutions, 
as it moves back down into your first, the foundation of life, the I am, love of self, love of self, as it moves back down through your legs, creating that strength and flexibility back down through your calves and into your feet. Wiggle your toes. Say hello to your fun fairies, allowing you to fill yourself up with more joy and lightness in life as that moves back down into Mother Earth. Say to yourself, I am grounded. I am centered. All is well. Life is good. I am listening. I can hear. I am still. And in that quietness, everything in life is moving forward exactly as it should be. Take a nice big deep breath. Mm, Stretch it out and open your eyes. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected, let's move on to this week's message and life theme. So as we talk about listening, I wanna go a little deeper with this this morning. I think a lot of us loop. And what I mean by that is we're not really listening, almost like we're not digesting our food. We're not digesting what we're hearing, what we're listening to, et cetera. It's kind of just in the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all do it. We've got so much going on that we're thinking about how we can go from A to B. And we're not really paying attention to the signs, to the signals, to the voices, to the messages. And if we don't have enough space in our lives, we're not even going to take the time to listen. I don't have time for that. But here's the thing. If we're not taking that time to slow down, to speed up, that will create this looping. So you're wanting to solve a problem and yet you're not really taking the time to find the answer. So Betty asked Christine, Christine asked Jeannie, Jeannie asked John, etc. And the reality is, is that you're not really wanting the answer or you're wanting the easier answer. So part of listening is getting quiet, is slowing down, is really spending some time with yourself. And most of you know what self-strategy sessions are, but for those that will be listening afterwards and don't know what it means, it literally means taking time and having a strategy session with yourself. So taking time is getting quiet, is thinking about things more deeply. Colleague of mine says he gets up at 4.30 in the morning and for an hour and a half, he does his prayers, he reads, he thinks about life, he thinks about problems, thinks about challenges, he thinks about his blessings. 
how many of us take that time an hour and a half each day seven days a week he says i've only missed two days out of the last year that's discipline that's dedication but how many of us are taking the deep dive think about it from this perspective we're at the ocean and we see a sailboat we say oh what a beautiful sailboat on the ocean but if you go under the ocean, under the sailboat, there's this whole other life happening, whole other world. And do we take the time to do that deep dive, to listen, to get quiet? It's much easier to look at the shiny object on the surface of the ocean. It's easier. So my invitation for you this week is to digest your experiences, to not be so quick to move from one activity to the other without taking it in. Without moving so quickly that we can't hear ourselves, let alone others. That are around us. I have a friend of mine who's quite the talker. <laughs> and if I don't, if I catch her at a time that she wants to chat, I know it's going to be at least an hour and a half conversation. So in the middle of my day, that's probably not the best time to talk to her. Okay. So the key here is, do I want to talk to her? Of course I do. But you got to find that time and that space. And so are you listening to that in yourself? And if you do need to take time for you, if you do need to take time and space, are you listening to that part of you that says, I need it? Or are you moving? Because here in the Western world, that's what it's all about. So this week, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to digest your experiences. And I'd like you to slow down a bit in order for you to listen. Take that quiet time. Take out your journals. Write stuff out. Ask yourself questions and see what comes out either an automatic writing or your non-dominant hand. You have a choice. And the choice is you can move and loop or you can move and open to hearing some better answers, even the answers you may not like or may appear more difficult. Are you willing to hear and listen to the truth? It's your life. The divine, the sacred, your angels, your loved ones on the other side are just waiting for that call. Are you listening? I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And remember until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.